going in with setting powders for both of them. So under my eye, I'm just going to be using a translucent Underneath my eyes, I'm going to be going in with a Mary Kay translucent Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You got it. Why can't I say this? Under my eyes, I'm going to be going in with a Mary Kay translucent powder. again with another video this video was going to be my highlighting slash contouring video I'm going to just show you guys how I highlight and contour my face so as you can already see I have my foundation on I have lip gloss on obviously my eyebrows and lashes done so what I do not have on is my concealer setting powder um, contour obviously because that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video so I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get into it what I use to highlight is this Master Conceal Concealer. Um, I just get it at Walmart in the shade medium slash deep. I'm just going to be putting a little bit on my under eyes here. And I really don't do this any specific way just because I do use a brush. So I'm just going to put a little under my eyes. Stop. And then I also do highlight my forehead under my chin or on my chin and then my nose. So I'm just going to put a little bit there. I look crazy but I'm just going to be blending that out then with one of my brushes. I like to use a smaller brush first just to make sure the product spreads and then I'll use a bigger brush to blend it out. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this now. taking a bigger brush to blend everything out.
now I'm gonna go in with my contour because it obviously you see it looks a little bit light so we're just gonna even that out with a darker color just so I can contour and bring everything all together the contour I'm gonna be using this Maybelline fit me foundation and this is in the shade 355 coconut and I like to use this just because it's really smooth and it is darker than my complexion so it makes for a really good contour and it's just really it just gives that creamy, dewy look, so I like how well the foundation blends as opposed to like using another concealer. So, I'm just going to pour some on my hand. Not too much. And then I'm going to be using this beauty blender. Don't come for me, I know it's dirty. I'm cleaning my makeup brushes today, I promise. So, I'm just going to be dipping this in here. And I like to do this when it's actually dry. I don't like using a wet beauty blender when I contour. I don't know why, but this is just what works for me. So I'm just going to be going in and contouring my face. On my cheekbones, as you can see. And I know the color is really dark, it's really harsh, but everything is going to get blended together, I promise. Just go ahead. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out with the same brush that I used for my concealer just because this color is really dark so I kind of like to mix the colors with the color that's already in here so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be going in and lightly I don't know what the word for this is but just lightly you know blending that in with this brush and you see how like soft it looks like it looked really harsh before but using the foundation just really softens everything up and that's what I love about it Voila! Now I'm going to be going in with setting powders for both of them. So under my eye I'm just going to be using a translucent powder. Underneath my eyes I'm going to be going in with a Mary Kay translucent Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, you got it. Why can't I say this? Under my eyes I'm going to be going in with a Mary Kay translucent powder. I think this 
actually some already in the top yeah so I don't really have to dump any out because there's some sitting on the top already and I'm just gonna be taking my brush taking a little bit and then just going under my eyes And because this is a translucent powder, I don't want to do it too heavy. So I'm just going to very lightly put some underneath. Because it's not like a banana powder that's like more close to my skin. It's literally white powder, so I don't want to use too much. And then basically everywhere that I put concealer to highlight, I'm just going to be putting the translucent powder there. And setting it all into place. I'm going to need a little bit more. So under my eyes, um, my jawline, my chin, and my forehead, and the bridge of my nose. And while I let that sit, I'm going to get a powder to set my contour as well. So I'm going to be using one of these brown colors. I usually use the one in the middle and then mix a little bit of the end color just because it's a more darker brown. So basically just a darker color powder to set the contour. And again, I'm just going to be putting that everywhere that the contour was. So that's going to be my cheeks, my nose, the sides of my nose. Um, I don't know what you want to call this. Like, I guess the outline of my forehead. And then, did I say my nose? If I didn't say my nose, my nose. I'm pretty sure I did say it though, so. I'm going to be putting the powder there and blending. Cheeks. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush to go ahead and contour my nose. I like my cheekbones to be really defined. So I'm gonna use a little bit more. Alright. And last but not least, I'm gonna be just dusting off the setting powder that I put on, the translucent powder, just so there's no flashback and Clearly I didn't put it in all the way, so I'm just going to be brushing off any excess powder. Okay, and last but not least, I'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones and then the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose with a highlighter.
making a video. my finishing touches and boom so that's the end of this video and as you can see she snatched you know she's very much giving contour giving highlight giving you snatchness you know you see she's She's glowing. She's highlighted. Periana. That's all I have to say. So uh, that's pretty much how I, well, that is how I contour and highlight my face. Um, I don't do this on an everyday basis. It's just for if I really want my makeup to look popping, like if I'm going somewhere special. This is typically what I do. So as you can see, it was kind of a tedious process. So I don't have time to do that every day. I'm not even going to sit here and cap to y'all like that. But if you're getting ready for a special occasion and, you know, you need to contour and highlight, I hope this video helped you. This is just how I do it. I'm no hair professional, so please don't come for me if I did something that you didn't like. We all do things our own way, you know. We all have our opinions. So, with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ignore the dark makeup on my hand. Y'all know that was for my contour. But, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all stay blessed, especially during this crazy coronavirus. Coronavirus! I'm telling you, this is real! This is getting real! Woo! Um, I hope this is some good content for you to watch if you're bored during this quarantine. But, I really appreciate you if you got to this point and watched this video all the way to the end. And that's pretty much all I have to say. So I will see y'all in my next video. And that's it. Bye, guys. Mwah.